Glory be to Jesus. We give God the praise and the glory for giving us another day and allowing us to see the beauty of a new day that he has made. I always stand by the integrity of the scriptures. I, the Bible says that the scriptures are a more sure word of prophecy. And so I announce to you and declare by the unfailing integrity of God's word, this is the day the Lord has made for you. You will rejoice and you will be glad in it. You will not be sorrowful and you will not be sad. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. I'm Bishop James Hansen Saki of the Christ Church International, and it's my greatest privilege to bring you God's word of hope for your day today. Today, I want to pray with you from Psalm 143, verse 11 to 12. Prayer from Psalm 143, verse 11 to 12. David prayed this prayer, and he says, For the glory of your name, O Lord, preserve my life. Because of your faithfulness, bring me out of this distress. In your unfailing love, silence all my enemies and destroy all my foes. For I am your servant. What a prayer. What a way to pray to God and command heaven's attention. The Bible says David prayed and said, For the glory of your name, O Lord, preserve my life. You know, there's power in a name. You know, the last time David prayed, Psalm 23, he says, For his name's sake. For his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I will fear no evil. He says, For his name's sake. There's something about the name of the Lord. There's something about the name of a family that will make a family move to preserve and protect its name. And that is the same way with the Lord our God. The Bible says, Because of the glory of his name, David said, preserve my life. This morning I pray for you that for his name's sake, may God preserve your life. To preserve means to protect, to keep from destruction, to keep from going bad, to keep from getting spoiled. I pray in Jesus' name for David to pray that God should preserve his life. Then you too, you can pray that prayer. That means the servant of God was was in danger. That's why he says, because of your great faithfulness, O Lord, bring me out of this distress. I don't know what you are going through that can be described as a distress. But there is a God in heaven who will preserve you and deliver you for his name's sake. This morning I pray in the name of Jesus, whatever the news you have heard that has brought distress to your soul, that has brought distress to your family, that has brought you pain in your soul, emotional pain, financial pain, marital pain, relationship pain, ministry pain, whatever it is, business pain that has brought you distress. I pray in the name of Jesus for the glory of his name. May God hear you and may Jehovah preserve your life and deliver you from sudden and timely death. May what you are going through not cut your life short. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you and your family today that God who preserves life, the giver of life and the owner of life, may he preserve your life. It is God who has the power to preserve lives. I pray in Jesus' name, the Lord preserve you and your immediate family in this current situation in the name of Jesus. And in the verse number 12 of Psalm 143, he says, in your unfailing love, silence all my enemies. Anytime David prays such prayers, an enemy is also lurking in the shadow. Sometimes we may go through distress because we made genuine mistakes. Sometimes we made foolish mistakes. Sometimes we make wrong choices, but there are also times that we have gone through distress because there is an enemy, because there's a human enemy or there are spiritual enemies, whatever they are and whoever they are. David said, Lord, silence my enemies. This morning you may have woken up and you know there are some enemies after your life. May God silence all of them and destroy all their plans in the name of Jesus. And he says, for I am your servant. I pray for you in Jesus' name that you also be able to say, I am the servant of God. Woman that is hearing me, young man that is hearing me, father that is hearing me, a mother that is hearing me, be a child of God, be a servant of God, so you can have enough clout to lift your voice and say, Lord, deliver me for I am your servant. And he says, Lord, silence my enemies. This morning, as you serve God, may God silence your enemies. Every enemy that has spoken against you, we reverse their judgments in the name of Jesus. Every tongue that has risen in judgment from satanic shrines, from demonic altars, from satanic covens, in the name of Jesus, I pray that the Lord silence their altars in the mighty name of Jesus. We retrench every demonic orchestration against your life. Powers of darkness, supervising spirits, as 
assigned to destroy your progress in Jesus' name. We command their works to fail. May the hand of the Lord be against them, but may your soul escape like a bird out of the snare of the fowler. I pray the snare is broken, you are escaped, and your help is in the name of the Lord. This day, as you set about your day, may the hand of the Lord be strong on you. May Jehovah preserve your life and silence all your enemies. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are the head and not the tail. I pray that the day will go well for you. The Lord deliver you this day from sudden untimely death, from satanic orchestrated accidents, from confusion in your family, and from every form of embarrassment and shame. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may God cause you to triumph over your enemies, and may you be a servant of the Lord. In Jesus' most excellent and holy name, amen and amen. And until I come your way again tomorrow, I'm Bishop James Hansen Saki of the Christ Church International. I declare over your life, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his great countenance on you and give you peace in every aspect of your life. I declare Psalm 143 verse 11 to 12 to become the standing orders over your life today and forever. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Have a blessed, fruitful, and productive day. Bye-bye.